Jonathan Cannon was a star at Georgia, and it's translated to pro ball thus far. He mixes a mid 90 sinker that's up to 98, 99 miles per hour with a nasty slider. All right, joining us now in the Prospect Pad Live, we got Jonathan Cannon. Okay, first we got to get it off. You know, we got to just address the elephant in the room. I'm a Gator, and now we've got two <laughs> Bulldogs sitting next to me. Um, take it easy on me. But although I do live in Georgia now, so I know you grew okay. up in Roswell, right? I'm not too far away. Yeah, I did. I did. So first time in Seattle? Have you been here before, or? I've not been here before. First time. All right. So did you, you like most of the guys? You just got in, right? So, I did. I did. So, yeah, my stuff's still sitting just outside. Right outside the door. I love it. So what's on the to-do list while you're here in Seattle besides playing in a pretty awesome game tomorrow? Um, get a nice dinner tonight, and that's that's probably about it. We fly out early on Sunday, so it's gonna be a quick little trip pitch an inning, and then go home for the All-Star break. So this is going to be a different experience. Like, normally you're thinking, okay, this is how I'm going to face the hitter this time, yeah. setting him up. Next time I'm going to do a little different. Yeah. Now you're going to go out there. I mean, is it just air it out, or is it like, okay, I'm going to best against best? Or how do you approach it a little differently when you know, no matter what happens, yeah. you're not going to be out there next inning? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess in a normal start, like, I wouldn't try and show a guy all my pitches the first time through, but... This time, it's just whatever I think I should throw, I'm going to throw. So I'm not not holding anything back. Coming, a lot of times people talk about SEC baseball and how good, and, and we're talking, we're in an era where mm -hmm. who won the national title this year? <laughs> well, which SEC team won it? Mm -hmm. But SEC baseball, pro baseball, like mm -hmm. how has been the transition? Obviously, there are some things that are different just like mm -hmm. when you pitch. Yeah. But what has the transition been like going from college baseball to pro baseball? Um, honestly, I think the biggest difference is the strike zone is definitely bigger in college. It is, I think it's significantly bigger. And I think that's the biggest adjustment is, I, th I like to put it in college, you get more like east west in pro ball, you get a little bit more up down. But um, it's definitely like learning to bring it back in the zone. And then I mean, it, it's it's so hard, like people like to say, Oh, like the hitters and the, the SEC compared to like a double A level. It's so hard to compare just because you add wood bats and no shifts now. Like, it's just completely different. I think it's like, I think it's going apples to oranges. Like, I don't think you can really compare it. As a pitcher, how much more fun is it facing wood bats? It's, I love it. <laughs> didn't have to think yeah. about that. Too. Didn't have to think about it just because I'm a big sinker and cutter guy. Like, in college, those balls off the handle or hits in the left or right field, and now they're just broken background balls. So. Yeah. I love it. Is that is that like is that almost like you know again we, obviously everyone likes mm -hmm. pilot strikeouts, but if a dude's having to chuck, you know a broken mm -hmm. bat you know back to the dugout as he walks back, is that like almost like a strikeout for you? Um, I mean not really. I mean there's nothing better than striking a guy out, but I mean there are definitely situations where you're just trying to get some early contact like early in the game and you break so, a bat and you're like okay, like, all right. We've been talking about the rule changes uh, mm -hmm. a lot since we've been on the air, and just curious as a pitcher, like, how do you feel about them? We've been talking more about the base running yeah. for them, but... You only get to pick off two a couple yeah. times? Yeah. How, how do you it's, feel about it? It's a lot harder to hold the guys on. Um, guys that you know are going to run, if you don't pick them off that first time, you know in your head they're probably going on the next pitch. Yeah. So it can definitely mess with you a little bit, like, because you want to try and give your catcher a chance. Um, I don't mind. I actually really enjoy the pitch clock. I said that last year when we first started doing it. And um, just because I work fast as it is, I mean, I, I think I've, I've had one one violation this year. It's just couldn't get the sign right. But, I mean, I, I really like it. I have a question about that. So uh, if you know the guys, so you've already tried once to pick them off, and you know the guys probably going, mm -hmm. does that affect the next pitch you throw in terms of, I mean, so now that it's mm -hmm. interesting because now it's getting involved in making a decision on what pitch you're throwing us. Yeah, I think it, it does affect a little bit because you want to give your catcher a chance. Like, you don't want every single or walk to turn into a double. Yeah. So. I think it does affect it a little bit, but um, more so like depending on who's at the plate. Like you're like, okay, like I know this guy ambushes fastballs. Like let's let's try and be quick to the plate and at least give our catcher a chance. Yeah. Is there any players that you're looking forward to playing with tomorrow in the game? Mason? Um, I don't know if there's anyone in particular. I don't know if I want to call anybody out <laughs> on live stream here. <laughs> I, I've seen that term turn bad in the past. By, I was gonna say, are there players that you've played with in the past that are here? Um, actually, I've, I've played against a couple of guys. Um, I, I played against Spencer Jones at Vanderbilt. I played against Holiday last week in Aberdeen. Um, but I, I don't think I've played against many guys in, in this game, so I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. 
So Holiday, you know, I mean, you're not, you're, mm-hmm. by pro standards, you're still a youngster. Yeah. But then you face Jackson Holiday, and yeah. by pro standards, like, he basically, he was, you know, in, he was in high school, yeah. it seems like an hour and a half ago, and now you're facing him in high A, and yeah. he's, he's, he doesn't look out of place. No, he's a, he's a really good hitter, and you know what, he's, he's very advanced for his age, and um, I, I think what makes him good is he, he doesn't really come off his approach. Um, I got him the first time around and, and struck him out on, I just made three really good pitches. We had a long battle the second at bat, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to throw a fastball right by him, and he hit it off the top of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? It was a good battle. He's a really good hitter. He's gonna he's gonna play this game for a long time. That's absolutely and okay, again, but also with you the same way, which mm-hmm. is is like, hey, the great thing about this is you turn around and it's, they're big leaguers. You turn around and they're back here again at yep. All Star Weekend. That's the dream. That's the goal. Yep, absolutely. You know, and this is the taste. You get that little mm-hmm. sneak peek at it before the actual ultimate prize, which is yep. you know, again, I, I would imagine you've been dreaming like you know. Oh, yeah. I never made it out of a little league, and I was dreaming of being an All Star at some point. Like this yeah. is being an All Star weekend's got to be amazing. Oh yeah, it's a dream come true for sure. I'm really looking forward to the game tomorrow. We can't wait to see it. Thanks for stopping yep. by and talking to us. Thank today. you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Go Good dogs. Luck the Go game. dogs. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this as he walks off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be right back. We got more coming your way live from Seattle. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>